Good Friday morning and tracking potential tropical cyclone one, which is forecast to become a depression or a tropical storm. Alex, which is the first name on the Atlantic hurricane season list. Max has seen winds of 35 miles per hour. It's moving northeast here over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, and it is forecast to become a tropical storm likely by later today and then going in overnight into tomorrow morning. You'll notice that it is expected to make landfall or move across parts of the southwest coast here Florida could be Fort Myers or any of these areas but you don't want to just focus in on the cone right because we will know that although the center is forecast to move in this general direction the worst of the weather is going to be to the south and east of this system and it is expected to continue to track towards the east central coast of Florida by tomorrow evening and then eventually push offshore late tomorrow night and then overnight it'll just continue to move off into the open waters of of the Atlantic and stay offshore. And we do have a tropical storm watch that's in effect for all of South Florida. In addition to that, a tropical storm warning for extreme Southern Dade County through the Keys to Monroe County. Also a flood watch is in effect for all of South Florida. And that is through Sunday as that is going to be the biggest concern with this. All right. Also winds that are going to be gusting as high as 40 miles per hour, even stronger than that for the Keys. So a tropical storm watch means that within the next 48 hours, we could see those 40 mile per hour winds, the strongest winds likely occurring overnight tonight into tomorrow. And the strongest gusts will be near the coast, the Keys, inland gusts with some of those storms. We're looking at the radar right now. It is soggy and we're seeing just a shield of rain all across uh, Broward County here in Lighthouse Point, Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, Fort Lauderdale, Lauder Hill, Tamarack, Coral Springs, Parkland around Fort Lauderdale Airport, as well as Davie, Pembroke Pines, Hollywood. Wood, Aventura, Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Lakes, Doral at Sutter Studios. It's been pouring. Hialeah, North Miami, North Bay Village, Downtown Miami, Sweetwater, Coral Gables, Key Biscayne. You get the picture, right? It's pretty much raining everywhere here in Miami Dade as well. Kendall, Palmetto Bay, Cutler Bay, Princeton. Now, the rain is light for now, but as we head throughout the day, we will start to see some of these heavier bands. And you can already see that is the case for parts of extreme Southern Dade County and near the eight mile stretch as well as Key Largo, some more moderate rain. Also, Monroe County is dealing with some soggy conditions right now. So as we look at the forecast models, you'll notice that the Keys will likely see some of the heaviest downpours as well as Southern Dade County as everything lifts northward. We go into noontime again, some of those heavy rain bands and gusty squalls moving through. However, I think the worst of the weather will occur likely between 5, 7, 8 p.m. and then another round of some nasty storms overnight and into tomorrow morning as we see that deepest moisture associated with this system move across our area. Lisa, thank you.